Do you know there is a simple way to analyze beam with spring supports? In this tutorial, I will talk about one example related to beams having a spring support. This is part of ISTRAC T-Certificate in Structural Behavior or simply you want to improve your understanding of basic structural mechanics, this tutorial is for you. Let's dive straight into this tutorial. In this example, we have 250 kN applied and we have spring support underneath it which is fixed at the base. Clearly this structure is indeterminate structure which means that we cannot solve it using ordinary equilibrium equations. The spring displaces downwards by one millimeter for every 10 kN acting on it. And the beam has EI50 into 10 raised 6 newton into millimeter. What is the downward displacement of the spring? And we are given a couple of options and we will see what option do we get. But it's not just about options here. It's about the process. How do we quickly get the deflection of this beam? If you want to try this question first before watching this tutorial, Scan this barcode or go to this link. It will be in description as well. Pause this video now and solve the question. In this example, I want to find out deflection of beam on its own and deflection of spring on its own. And then I will combine these deflections to find out the downward deflection of the spring. So let us have a free body cut over here. This will show me a roller support and then we have deflection like this and we have deflection like this this capital delta is something that we would like and this is the small delta so small delta is deflection of a spring on its own and d is the combined displacement and this is the displacement or deflection of beam on its own. So first we need to find out deflection of beam without spring support. When we want to find out deflection of beam without spring support then we will draw the diagram of beam only. So the beam has 250 kN load and reactions are VA and VB and the distance is 3 meters and 3 meters. So the formula for deflection is I call it as D is PL cube over 48 EI. P is 250 times I convert it into Newtons and L is 6 cube divided by EI 48 into EI is given which is 50 into 10 raise 6 newton meter this will give me 0.0225 meters small d i still need to find out the small delta step two is deflection of spring on its own so the reaction that will develop due to spring that will be like this so at supports, I will have a downward reaction here. At center, I call it as C. It will take the beam upwards and this deflection is small delta. Again, applying the same formula, delta is equal to PL cube over 48 EI. Here, I can say that P is equal to K times X by Hooke's law. And here, Newton is the unit here there is something and meters so unit of the stiffness should be newton per meter and stiffness of a spring is given to us which is for every 10 kilo newton it's 0.1 mm downward so this is stiffness so for every 10 kilo newton 10 into 10 raised 3 i have a downward displacement of if I write it in meters 0 0.001 so if I convert this that will be 10 into 10 raised 6 newton per meter so I will use this value here so delta I would say instead of P I have a x l cube over 48 EI 
if I put value of k, value of k is 10 into 10 raised 6, which you saw earlier. k is equal to 10 into 10 raised 6 newton per meter multiplied by x multiplied by L is 6 cube divided by 48 into EI is 15 to 10 raised 6. If you simplify this equation, you will get value of delta as 0.9x. Now, I have got value of small delta. I have got value of D. Remember that D here is equal to delta plus small delta where capital delta is equal to x and that is what we are interested in to find so i will say small d is 0.0225 m and here it's 0.9 x so d is equal to delta plus small delta this is 0.0225 and this is x plus 0.9 x this will give me 1.9 x is equal to 0.0225 and from here i can get value of x as 0.0225 divided by 1.9 this will give me value of x as 0.0118 meters or x is equal to 11.8 millimeters this is our required reflection from these option option d is the correct option alternatively i can find the stiffness of beam i can find the stiffness of spring then because these are two springs they are acting in parallel because their displacement is same but the forces are different so in method two a spring or parallel so beam is a spring as well using this formula force is equal to k times any displacement k times d so total stiffness will be equal to kb plus ks and here for beam kb will be equal to load divided by d load is 250 into 10 raise 3 divided by d is 0 0.0225 this will give me value of kb as 11.11 into 10 raise 6 newton per meter and i will find out ks as well ks we already know that ks is equal to 10 10 kilo newton in one millimeter i can say 10 into 10 raised 3 divided by 0 0.001 meters and this will give me 10 into 10 raised 6 newton per meter so i have these two values if i put them back in here i will get kb 11.11 into 10 raised 6 plus 10 into 10 raised 6 this will give me 20 1.11 into 10 raised 6 newton per meter this is the overall stiffness of the system and p is equal to k total this is the total one k into delta so delta will be equal to p over k where p is 250 kilonewton into 10 raised 3 and k is 21.11 into 10 raise 6 this will give me 0.0118 meter or i can say it's 11.8 millimeter so you can find out deflection by any of the methods whichever you find convenient so the correct answer is option d 11.8 millimeter tell me did you get it right don't worry if you didn't you can always watch back this tutorial if you want to have a look at similar videos i have a complete series on structural behavior go to this url or scan this barcode to watch the entire series if you want to have a look at the lecture notes go to this url or scan this barcode the links will be in description as well